Somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are continuing our journey with the Planet of the Apes series. Tonight we're taking a look at 2014's Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Now, again, I believe this is a first time watch for all of us. I yep. know it is for me, so I got no idea what to expect. I don't know if we're going to have any kind of time jump from the last one or how it's going to play out. I just know that I'm going to be prepared to be terrified because if you guys saw the last one, you know I don't trust the apes. You know like the ape. No like the apes. I ripped your face off in like two seconds. I don't even try. Uh, yeah, I am... You know, we saw at the end that all of a sudden, you know, the the captain of the of the ship of the ship of the plane, <laughs> he got all sick, and yep. that started to spread Spreading. like wildfire. So I am definitely ready, willing, and able to see how this turns out. I just think it's hilarious. We've watched a million movies with this guy, and the thing that gives him like <sighs> crippling anxiety <laughs> is the, the, the oh, potential. It could have been worse. It could have been like cats for, <laughs> for apes and primates to to take over the world. Yeah, really interesting end. You know, mm -hmm. at the last one we saw how um, all the the apes and, and the monkeys, primates, whatever, however we're gonna put this, apes, I guess, given the title. Title. Uh, the apes um, gained their you know significantly advanced intelligence over what had previously been, and it wasn't until the very very end, like into the credits, where they kind of teased like, okay, there's a disease spreading, taking out all the humans. So I'm really interested to see how this one plays out i saw bits and pieces of this one so if you remember back to the the first one i had seen that upon its original release but which was over a decade ago this one i've just seen bits and pieces of so i'm not really sure what to expect at all and when i did god it's it came out in 2014 it's been a hot minute oh, i think this uh, might be a fun one and terrifying for someone else so without further ado <laughs> let's go Second chimps showed signs of erratic and aggressive behavior. Ended with the apes disappearing into mere woods. A fatality toll ranging from 5 million to as many as 150 million Ooh. in the next six to eight months. The survival rate is now approximately one in five hundred. Oh. Oh. Wow, what was, what was that from that they pulled? One in five hundred? Wow. Well, you guys know I love a good post-apocalyptic uh, movie, so we might be in for one. killed by the virus. We'll probably die in the fighting. This is how it ends. Well, I would assume be anyone left. You know, people would be fighting for supplies, if not the apes already. I was gonna say, what are they talking about? Infighting between humans or fighting the the apes? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that dude. Oh, he's still there. He's, he's angry. Okay, so they've all got spear. Oh, what does that guy got? It's Multiple a whole, spear? A whole pack of them. Okay, Quinn, I understand the anxiety. <laughs> Look at these all. <laughs> Quinn's all freaking out already. This stuff happens, like, sort of in real life. Like, there's, oh. there's towns where monkeys com have completely taken over. Did you just see that? That's. He said father. He said father, yeah. Oh. That's Caesar's son. Okay, so he's got a kid. Oh, I wonder if they're hunting for, for food. Have the Are they gonna do the uh, thing where they scare him off the cliff? Nope. Nope. Oh. oh. All right, go deer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I didn't listen to Caesar. Oh, he didn't plan on that. Oh. Oh no. All right, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh, that thing's gotten a. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> Sitting there laughing like, ah, oh, that was a close one, huh? Oh. Got it good. I think it's cool, like, right away, they have given us at least a little bit of insight into, oh. you know, more advanced emotions and just mm -hmm. than, than yeah. we would, you know, have previously considered for primates. Mm. Apes, I keep wanting to use the technical term. Yeah, well, it's, def apes. it's definitely been a while. We had a lot of growth here on vehicles and everything that have been there for a while, so definite time jump. 
Holy oh, shit. Yeah, he's, he's got plenty of them, so. It's almost like they're uh, commandments. Hey, apes not kill ape. yeah, apes. Apes together, together strong. Jeez. Look at that look setup. At that. Oh, is that the messes? Is he losing somebody, or is she having another baby, or? Oh, no. oh another baby. God, the facial expressions are incredible. Mm. Uh. Okay. Oh, it's so ten, ten years. years. Last two, no sign of them. What? The oh, there's our guy. Oh, well, that's that's Caesar's son. Yeah. <gasps> oh. Oh no. Get Caesar's uh, son. Uh oh. oh a bunch of them. This is bad. Oh, there's the bad dude from Terminator. It's bad news. You don't mean any harm. Oh, uh, a little late for that. I think they understand what you're saying. Do they look like just apes to you? Put your guns down. I can't be serious. Do it. I don't think that's going to help you much with that many. Okay. Oh, did he did he drop a rifle or something there? I or think pistol? he did, yeah. Oh, he, he wanted to send in the big dog. He here. told the big dog to calm down. See, this, this this is a shot that gives me the anxiety. <laughs> hey! <laughs> of course. Did you find it? The dam's pretty much intact. It can probably start generating power for us within a week. But there's a problem. Get in. I was scared. I didn't know what to do. Jesus Christ. They spoke! That is not possible. I'm telling you, Dreyfus, they did. It was incredible. Incredible! Any chance of contagion? We're all genetically immune, or we would have been dead a long time ago. Not a word until we can figure out what to do. You gotta be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, he's got you a don't want to be telling anybody about the talking apes you saw. I dropped my bag. I know. All right, so we got a bit of a thriving community here. Oh. Oh. Uh, as far as I understand, even in the the primate or ape world, orangutans are especially smart, from what I understand. Family. <laughs> Family. Come on. <laughs> How come every? It's like they. It's like our fans know they have to do a movie where they say family for Quinn. Oh. Oh. No. The old bro <laughs> forearm handshake. I'm in That's a hell of a lot more than 80. See, I wonder if the humans have anybody who speaks sign language. Yeah. But the apes may have developed their own kind of sign language, but you think it would be based off of what... Well, yeah, it would know. be based off of that because yeah. he learned it from... Yeah. Apes! Oh. Do not want 
What? Oh, oh, look at that guy. Yeah, so you don't think they can speak now or didn't know what you yeah. saw, huh? Huh, Gare? Doubting me, Gare? <laughs> and they're oh, riding they're, horses. They're the big one right and there. Come silverbacks. Up. Yeah. yeah. I mean, oh, that was a show of backs, power. Yeah. Absolutely it was. If they come back, they'll be sorry they ever did. This city may not have the manpower it once did, but it has the firepower. So what do we do now? It's not just about keeping the lights on. It's about giving us the tools so that we can start to, to rebuild. Boy, Gary Oldman can just deliver. Can just he? crushes. So good. He is so good. There is no alternative power source. Well, then we fight them. Uh, uh did maybe, you not just see what I saw? Can we maybe try to make a deal first? It's our only chance of reaching the outside world. We can't afford any more casualties. I only have a help there. Give me three days. I mean, how do you know that he'll even understand you? He's more than just an ape. You're not back in three days. We're going up there, and we're going to kill every last one. You're really taking Carver and he shot one of them. You know, they don't really have any choice. He used to work at the water department. He's the only one who knows how the dam works. Ah, uh, no, oh, man. What are you going to do up there? I'll tell him the truth. Hope I catch him in a good mood. <laughs> that's that's uh, kind of true. Yeah. I think if I don't at least try this, there's going to be a war. I don't want Alexander to be alone. I'm coming too. <laughs> oh, okay. I already got my backpack on and everything. Yeah, too many people, I think, is a bad idea. If I'm not back in two hours, you get everyone back to the city. So, like, what's his plan to get up there? Like, knock, knock. I think hey, he guys. Wants to hope purposely run into. Yeah. Man, it looks like it's like a mix of being built and then it looks like a tornado just went through and just ripped it apart, you know? That does not look like a good place to be trapped. <laughs> yeah, that's that's about the expression you'd have. <laughs> oh, there's Coda. Yeah. Oh, there's the window. Oh, he has it on the right and a good okay. catch. Nice. There he is. Please, please. Just hear what I have to say. I need to show you something. It's not far. If I could just show you, then you'll understand. Show. God, I just... <laughs> Better bring your uh, A game. Hopefully, you're part salesman. You know, you're a yeah. really good one back in mm -hmm. life. Well, we've been working to reroute the power lines to the city. But if we can just get this this dam working, then we have a shot at restoring limited power. <laughs> <laughs> Unimpressed. <laughs> I'm not a threat. If I am, then I guess you can kill me. Well, I, well oh my God, he's. What? He's sitting there with a nice move, buddy. Yeah. yeah. Sitting there with his revolver out, like. Well, Carver's a little jumpy. Oh, come on. I'm just shoving him. St Jesus, <laughs> dude, put the gun down, man. We need to give him our guns. We can stay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, no elk hunting for you, I guess. Oh, he doesn't like it. <laughs> yeah, he knows. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Human. What? Human. What? Human. What? Like being challenged. Oh, 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> A little salty. I was brave what you did today. Malcolm, I know everyone's depending on you. I don't care about that. I don't care about any of that. He saw things that no kid should see, and I'm not letting us go back to that. God, I tell you what, that dam looked in pretty rough shape, though, didn't it? Yeah, a lot of a lot of overgrowth, and but you'd think it'd be made pretty robustly, where mm -hmm. you know, not not too sensitive tech. You know the scary thing about them? They don't need power. Hey, pal, that's the advantage. They already killed off half the planet already. Come on, you can't honestly blame the apes. Where the hell else am I gonna blame? You telling me he'll get sick to your stomach at the side of him? Well, old James Franco is the one you want to blame. <laughs> well, oh, remember he, to wake up. Yeah, I remember he uh he was looking at his, his He was looking at his drawings. Oh. oh boy. It's well, they're like, come on, guys, get yeah, to work. Wake up. We're burning daylight here. Oh, Koba oh. took his own crew to go check things out. Yeah. It's interesting that we, you know seeing the Golden Gate Bridge in both movies here. Oh, so Koba's keeping an eye on him. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he's going to see him stockpiling stuff. Most of the arsenal seems functional. Right. Uh, I don't <laughs> know that I'd be blowing through that much ammo. That seems like a lot just to test, doesn't it? Oh boy, I've I've seen enough videos on YouTube oh, to know what happens here. That's a lot. They weren't kidding. They are heavily, heavily armored. Yeah, but they want to Did see what all works. Die hard. Don't you move! Don't move! You understand me? What do we do? Where you come from? Oh, he's gonna play goofy with them. Make them let their guard down. Uh huh. He's playing them. Yep. You lost? Trying to get home? Get out of here, stupid monkey! Oh, you heard it! Go! Go! Oh, oh. Ooh, see that face? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this is... It's about to get real complicated. Oh. Yeah, you got some Well, we gotta clear this blockage! I didn't know you had a daughter. Now I have you and your dad. One. Oh. Oh, look who's gonna show up to help Carver. Leave it there. Thank you. We've got a lot of debris to clear now. We might need a bit more time. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You finished? Right. Yeah, he's he's going to be a problem later on. You just know yeah, he just I don't think he wants. Okay. <gasps> hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> oh. I'll kill you! Don't see the no! Oh my, why? This guy, Carver's just screwing up the whole works. He's going to tell him to leave, and that's going to be the end of it. No. Come on. Leave. No! Oh, congratulations, uh, Carver. You just screwed it up for everybody. There's always one guy screwing up the works. Oh, and now look who's back. Yep, and now he's going to have all the info. Uh-oh. No. Oh, you know what? I bet they're going to need medicine. Oh, I'm wondering. Maybe they remember uh, Carrie Russell's character. She's a doctor. Oh, that's right. They're going to remember seeing her help everybody. Malcolm, where are you going? No. 
Please, please, I just need to speak to him. That was all my fault, but I will make him leave. This is not at home. She's sick. How long has she been this way? I have medicine, antibiotics. Do not trust you. God, this is this. It, it's just tension the whole time. You stay one day. You might need a little more time. Bonsai! Oh, you'll do what Caesar says. Oh, look teenage, at that look. Old teenage son. Come on, get out of here. Come on, man. Get sick of what? Does he think he's Nick Nolte? <laughs> 48 hours? <laughs> oh, did, he, did he take the keys from Yeah. Him? Yo, Alex. It's relays bus. See if there's another one. Yeah, it's nothing for them to carry those rocks. Yeah. Hey! Caesar only been like happy like twice in the soul. Mm. Caesar love humans more than your sons. Oh! I not kill. Forgive me. Oh, teenage sons, you know. Oh. This guy's gonna try to get into his mind. Oh, he's setting. Yeah, he's setting him up. He wants something to happen to Caesar's son, so mm. Caesar takes vengeance yep. finally. Mm. <laughs> or yesterday. Watch. It was Friday. Is he going to teach Maurice how to read? It's like a comic. <laughs> Hanging out. I think it's just a big book of, like, yeah, comics. Yeah, this Ooh. is good stuff. Is that blue. Johnny Walker? That's blue label. Uh-oh. I thought we told you to go! No! <laughs> it's like he's yelling at a dog. Oh, he understood that, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> oh, is he gonna give him some Johnny Walker? Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, this is getting a little too close for yeah. comfort. Doing a juggling trick here. Whoa. Oh boy, now we're in trouble. <sighs> what the hell just happened? Oh, see, just when everything's starting to go well. Yeah, but they're never going to assume it was the apes who did it. They're riding back with the yeah. firearms to show yeah, them. To show them. Got lights. Oh, the lights turned. Oh, that's a 76 <laughs> by Look at the balls spinning. Yeah. Boy, if anybody lives in the San Francisco area, is there actually a gas station up in the uh, park or woods or whatever? <laughs> Says CDs. Oh, what's going on in the bushes over there? Is that just the wind? Oh, I wonder if it's Caesar's son. Oh, no, because oh. this dude, you know, he would be the one to... Yeah. Oh. 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 oh, that's the end of Carver. Goodbye. Oh. Carver's not making it back. I'm not saying I didn't see that coming and it shouldn't have happened, but... Nice. 
Oh, oh she's is. she's good. The medicine worked. It's going too good. Okay, but here's the thing. Does anybody that's there really care about Carver? And the people back in the city, would they have thought for two seconds that it was apes that came and did it? You know? Yeah, that's true. What was that all about? What are they, oh, they're burning their camp. The humans. The humans camp, I think it was, yeah. Oh, now the son's realizing that the mom's good. Yeah. And maybe he's going to realize he made a mistake by listening mm -hmm. to the other guy. He's going to try to take out Caesar. Did Coda just shoot Caesar? Oh! It looked like it was on his shoulder, though, didn't it? The way he grabbed? Uh, I don't think he quite aimed it. No. So all the other apes are going to think it was Carver. What? God! <laughs> I think he got Caesar on the shoulder, though. Yeah. This is this is not gonna be good Seb, you got caesar in the shoulder i think yeah i don't think he realizes that he didn't get caesar uh, it's sir fatally yeah but i mean we didn't we couldn't have lost caesar right i mean the way they're playing this out is that he's gone i mean it boy it, didn't it, look it like looked it. like it was a shoulder <laughs> yeah. shot but then again <laughs> Without antibiotics and infection, a bullet wound yeah. could be definitely fatal, even in the shoulder, or even you know hit arteries. They bleed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's. Oh, and then they have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in this family. <laughs> Oh, oh, sending in the big boys. Yeah, if I were you, I'd be hiding and not pulling that trigger. Mm -hmm. If you're receiving this signal, please state your identity and your location. Over this. What is it? The apes attacked the armories. Oh, oh they, they knew, knew where the right. armory yeah, was. Because, well, yeah, because Koba. Oh, yeah, he was there the whole time. Koda knew where the armory yeah. was. Oh, they're going to oh, clear out the armory. Up. Not what your dad would want. Right? Now they may have got their hands on some of our guns, but that does not make them men. They are animals. Oh, Jesus. It's like the stuff nightmares are made out of. Oh. <laughs> well, Mason <laughs> Quinn's just. Me and Easter are just enjoying the movie. Right. Mason Quinn's. They're, they're, quit, they're on quit. horses with Quinn's rifles. Like, Quinn's Mason like, how am I going to fall asleep tonight? How am I going to go to bed tonight? And they're apes. They're like four times as strong as any human, at least. Would they know how to, you know, aim with the Probably optics, not, the but they're just training. spraying. Just spraying. You know? Oh, what a cool shot. There, yeah. California Street. Oh, they're just Sp spraying, oh. spraying and praying. How many of them are going to hit the people in front of them? <laughs> no, like you were saying. Yeah. Hopefully not Caesar's son. Oh, is he going to... He's dual not, wield? We are not getting cold a dual wielding. We are. We are. Holy sh! He's trying to inspire them. This is so insane. Oh, now they're burning. Oh, high ground. Yep. Oh. oh. This is insane. Oh, they're going to show him riding through the fire. Oh, oh, holy geez. shit. Oh, holy oh. shit. Look at that the shot. Quinn's not going to sleep for a week. <laughs> the scenes in this are just oh, ridiculous. Oh, Ooh, that geez. didn't go so well for you, did it? Uh, let's just... Uh, Pause for a minute and think what's going to happen if they get a hold of that thing. Yeah. 
Okay, so that guy's 86. Yeah. Oh, they're going to bust through the walls. We have a beacon mark in our location, please. We need help. We are under attack. Well, they got somebody. What kind of optic is that? I wonder what he was holding him back from getting too involved there. Oh, I wonder if they're going to find, find Caesar. Caesar. I think I see it. It's down here. Really? We lost Caesar. Oh, wait. No. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Okay. A lot. Oh, okay, so now what? Well when he gets there you can tell him that Koba's the one that shot him. Yeah, but yeah. look what I mean, how do you how do you create any sort of resolution between both sides now yeah, well, after what happened? I don't know. Is he crying? Oh my god. I mean, how do you fix this now? I mean, you don't. Yeah, yeah, it's such a mess. I don't know what you do. He's lost a lot of blood. Is he going to make it? Why did Carver get the gun? The, the... Oh. oh! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's the guy that his son stopped before. Oh, what oh, the hell? He's going to make an example of him. He's going to make him pay for not listening. Caesar. God. You took him out. Mm hmm. Follow Cobra. No. Oh, jeez. What in the world is going on? Oh my God, look, the colony's on fire. Where are we gonna go? Is he gonna drive by his old house? Safe? Are we close? <laughs> Malcolm, stop. It is. I there's the, there's the Wagoneer. We just need a place to hide. Hey, the there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh, there it is. Look. We need to operate. I don't have anything. That's maybe why he brought you there. There's got to yeah. be stuff there. Oh, he's going back to her place. You ain't pressure now. He's got a scar. Yeah. No. Yes. That's the same one from the yeah. Grizzly. Oh, those must be the apes that didn't fall in line. I mean, he threw one off the third story yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that was bad. Man, if this guy can pull this off, it'll be a miracle. I mean, you think if he yelled it loud enough to a big enough group of apes that's, that Caesar was alive, that maybe... Yeah. Or they just get taken out to keep him quiet. It depends, yeah, on who finds him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, is that gonna be Caesar's son? Yep. Your father, your life. <laughs> Not human, Koba. No. Oh. We need to do this now. Son. He's very strong. It's gonna be okay. Yeah, just wipe your <laughs> blood-filled hands in my hair. That's I don't mind, you know. <laughs> I always think ape better than human. I see now how much like them we are. Always seek strength. 
finest branch. Oh, oh nice. Father. <gasps> I guess who's uh, getting unshackled? Come on. <laughs> so you know, just like I feel like it feels like gladiator a little bit. Yeah. You know, mm. like. If uh, if Big Maurice gets out here, it's gonna be trouble. oh snap! Oh. Would those chains really hold that uh. orangutan and that silverback though? <laughs> yeah. yeah, see what would you say? Oh, oh, we got one! Oh, they're flipping it over. Better get your arm out of there, Maurice. Yeah, he's going to be checking out the old place. John Lithgow played the piano. Why are they still plugged in? Yeah. Remember, they got power back. Yeah. Oh, and the power went on. Maybe it charged the uh, yeah. charged the camera. Yeah, they just didn't turn the lights on. But if it was plugged in, it would have been charging. Mm -hmm. On a chessboard. Who was that? Good man. Like you. Hey, yeah. look at that. Looking through the window like always. Yep. <laughs> they need to get to the tower without being seen. I'm going to take them through the subway. Oh, he's going to move them into the city. Oh, yeah, because, oh, you could take the mom captive or do something to the kid. Yep. Or the baby, I should say, really. If you're human, you better say so. It's welcome. Don't shoot. Stairs. Take the stairs. It will bring you out and up onto the street, okay? Trust. Look who I found. I didn't know if you'd made it out. C4. This is San Francisco. They're going to take down the whole tower. Yeah, Caesar's not exactly 100% here. If anyone is receiving this, we ask that you identify yourself and your location. At least you want to tell him you got to wait. Yeah, I mean, that or I mean, he's obviously conflicted. I mean... I'm sorry, but I can't let you do this. We need to give him some time. He's up there right now. Oh, this ain't gonna be good. Caesar, apes, follow, go by now. Apes, together, strong. Caesar, weak. Cobra, weaker. Oh Ooh, snap with the drop kick. God, Caesar's oh. not gonna be able to fight with that shoulder like that. No. Wow. Man, Caesar's gotta use his brains here. Oh, oh he got bad. They don't want a war. They're animals. Oh, nice side Man. scrolling right yeah, there. That's really cool. Just a coma like brother. Fight for him! Oh! Oh! Got him again! It's like in Lionheart when Attila goes after Van Damme's rib. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like that. Whoa! You think stopping me will matter? They're coming! Now we make contact to military base up north. Davis, what are you doing? No! Oh, oh. Oh, what a mess. Well, at least they all see Coda for what he really is. Yeah. Coba. Koba, yeah. Koba. 
Oh. Ow. Oh, by the fingertips. Oh, no. He's going to give him the Abe. ape. Yep. Yeah. Not kill ape. He's, he, uh, he's conflicted because he doesn't want it. Yeah, but. You are not ape. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a long way down. Problem is now the war, like the the war started, like they said, the military yeah, is coming from up the north. Way. They don't want this to happen a second time. You're not safe here. Alrighty, we got you. Must go, sir. Friend. Oh. You thought we had a chance. I did too. That's that's what you did, did with James. That's how they show their affection in, yeah. in the first one. Yeah. They're gonna really leave us on a downer like this? No. Um, it's gonna be him and his family together. Let's get his family back together yeah. at least. So we got that going for us. Yeah, remember Koba, the best man at our wedding? Yeah, he did this. Yeah. He just disappears into yeah. the shadows. Fade to black. Oh, look at them all asking yeah. for forgiveness. What is that now? He's got red in his eyes? Are we supposed to be noticing something there, like with his eyes mm. being slightly different? Or I don't think oh, so. Oh, Matt Reeves did this one? Yep. Wow. Did not know that. All right, guys. Wow. There was Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and I cannot remember the last time I watched a movie, and it was nothing but two hours of just pure <laughs> tension the whole time. You were from the second they showed exactly. up in the beginning, you know, like with Carver being way out there and just totally unhinged. You just knew that no matter what they did, something was going to go wrong. And that seemed to be like how it happened this whole movie. Like you would think things are going okay, but you knew in the background that there was bad stuff going on. It was just never going to work out from the start. It was you know, almost all in vain. It was cool to see uh, Caesar be able to go back to his house. Um, the interesting thing about the actor who uh, plays Malcolm, I believe that's Toby Kebbell, I think. Is that him or is it Jason Clark? Oh, maybe it's Jason Clark. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it maybe it's Jason Clark. But anyways, I'm so used to seeing him as a villain. When he showed up on screen, I was wondering how is this gonna, you're thinking. how is he gonna play out? Because he's normally always a villain. Uh, at least when I saw him in one of the Terminators, he was. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, like I said, you're just the whole time. You're just like on a razor's edge for this whole movie. Yep, Jason Clark. Okay, thanks for that. Um, you're just on a razor's edge the whole movie, waiting for for something to go terribly wrong, and eventually it does. Koba uh, was just going to set this whole thing up the whole time, and you know Caesar did eventually pull through. I legit thought we lost Caesar there. Uh, no especially kidding. Especially when they pulled up to him and his eyes weren't moving in the forest there. Um, I thought he was done for. Uh, a couple of the scenes that I really liked, and I guess in general the way they did the scenes was how they let everything really breathe with a lot of the shots and a lot of the scenes, and especially the scenes where Caesar had to kind of display his like alpha dominance I guess if you will they did a really good job of you know him just you know in the first couple of uh scenes really staring down Koba kind of putting him in his place but they just did an excellent job with the shots of letting you really soak it in we had the amazing shot on the uh, the turret of the tank that eventually went in through the walls that was really cool so Fuck I mean him. this movie had a, had a lot of really good stuff in it and 
will definitely give me nightmares because <laughs> what's more terrifying than a massive ape on the back of a horse dual wielding m60s coming through a wall of fire i i don't know if there's anything more terrifying than that but this one was a lot of fun um i'm gonna give it my rating here and then maybe jump in later with the fellas once uh they've kind of posted oh thanks for the play by play bit here so again this one was really good i was it as good as the i I'm really conflicted if it was as good as the first. I think it was pretty much equal with with the first one. Uh, just in terms of the, for me, the tension was just off the charts. So four and a quarter answers uh, out of five for me. I believe that's what I scored the last one. I'm 99% sure. So. 99 point. Yeah, yeah, so this sure. one was a lot of fun. Uh, this was fun. To, uh, like sort you of said, fun. Like you said, <laughs> teetering back and forth on whether or not it was going to be there good or not. Mm-hmm. What was going to start it? How was it going to start? We saw that Caesar, you know, he was in control. He was the king, so to speak. And then you saw that even when uh, Koba played by Toby Kevill. So that's they actually had a good cast of the people yeah. that were the apes in this. You know, uh, look, uh, Judy Greer was... Cornelia, the the mom of yeah. the the kids, so it's like it's amazing that they had all this extra, you know, all these extra amazing actors, and uh, it was just the tension, like you said, is what got me the whole movie. You're just waiting for that other foot to come down, whether it was Carver being an idiot or is or you know Dreyfus doing whatever, and Colba having his own agenda because he fighted for himself, yep. ended up taking out his two cohorts that even helped him find the armory, yep. and just oh my god, and then finally it just snapped where they had the war, and at first I thought the human race was holding their own, but obviously then you get overtaken. Yeah, because like initially you thought maybe, oh, it's just going to be over and just yep. be a slaughter. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. But One way or the not. other, but and then, of course, I knew it was him. I saw him, Michael <laughs> Papa John. I noticed him, and here and there he's got a lot of bit parts and stuff, but there he was. He was the he was in the, he was in the gun, cannon gunner, but uh, he got off, but I it was a lot of fun, a lot of tension, and you know, I was so worried about Caesar, but I just, I just knew he'd survive. Come on! So I'm gonna. Plus, I love the moment where they saw, where he watched the recording of him with, from you know, from when he was a baby, learning how to play Apple and home. So I'm gonna give it a 4.4. 4. Right. Um, I really, I liked it. I don't know, I don't remember the score of the first one, but so far I've liked both of them. Yeah, I mean, 91% on Rotten Tomatoes. So you guys obviously like it too. I thought I thought this movie was great. I mean, as Mason Gwynn had mentioned, there really wasn't a dull moment from start to Oof. finish. It didn't feel like there's any lag time. Mm-hmm. There was any filler dialogue or scenes. It really felt like every minute of this movie was created very purposefully for telling this story. Uh, you know, in the, in the in the first movie, we learned that um, you know that the, uh, the the treatment for Alzheimer's was going to give the apes. Um, incredible intelligence. Now we know um, to a certain extent um, that um, apes and primates have their own family units, and that you know they they can when they learn to sign, they can share emotions and thoughts and feelings. And so it's it's very interesting because all different species of animals have their own dynamics within their um, you know, within their respective groups, and we have you know prides of lions and you know i mean you know whatever term you can use um but i think with primates being the most close to us um you know it it really doesn't feel like that far of a stretch to look at them and feel like they're kind of almost people did it feel like when you were watching some of the scenes they did with the eyes they almost looked like a little they looked like they they were human eyes i mean but look look i mean the reality is is i what what do we share 99.92 percent dna (laughs) yeah with with chimpanzees i mean so and and the majority of the apes look they throw in an orangutan throw in a silverback yeah the majority of the apes that we see throughout this are um are, are chimpanzees as far as as far as i know um, and it, it creates such an interesting dynamic because in, you really start to look at them not as like, oh, we're the humans and they're the apes, but just, I, I, I guess equals is, like is kind of groups. the terms. Yeah. They, they want the same thing. Yep. Like, I think that's it. Like, we look at, you know, we look at so many animals and you think, okay, like the mammals' instincts tell them to, you know, eat, breed, and sleep. 
Yeah, you know, no, no. and that it's so easy to write off that they have feelings and wants and and and, and desires for peace and things like that. But when you watch, um, you know, they created their own civilization. They had homes. They had shelters. They had tools. They, you know, they did group hunting and, and things like that. And you know, it was very clear they didn't want war. They just wanted to be left alone. Um, they thought humans were gone. Um, you know, we said, yeah. "Hey, it's been ten winters. Ten years, we haven't yeah. seen them for the last two. Although I found it interesting. Um, you know, if I if I have to nitpick from a lot of their vantage points, they could see the city. You'd think, and they said they had you know fuel for power and stuff like that. You would have think they would have seen oh, that's a good you know point. some sort yeah. of light. So they're like, oh, we don't know if humans are left. We haven't seen them for the last two winters. But they said that they had power, which was another thing when the lights went on and um, you know and everybody was celebrating. Okay, but they've had power. But then I'm like, okay, if Maybe they were if they were rationing, you wouldn't have had the lights on at yeah, night, it right? It would have been yeah. lights off and things like that, and they probably would have rationed it. Mm-hmm. But um, so there was a few things like that. Like I, I think, you know, if they were driving vehicles, you may have seen exhaust. If they had lights on at any point throughout the course of the day or any sort of human activity on the bridge, they may have seen that. Um, so that was like if I'm getting nitpicky. But other than that, I, I thought the movie was great. I thought, you know, it's. You know the, the 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 power struggle. I mean, that's not a that's not an ape story. That's yeah. a story. And I mean, how many movies and books can we look back in history? We had somebody who's the leader, and somebody else is challenging them. Oh, no, all the time for the power. Insane. I mean, and they want to be, they want to be. You like know, he said Lion King. They want to get Lion King. Hey, <laughs> find out Scar. Simba's, Simba's alive and Scar. And, um, so this, I thought this was done great. Um, it's so easy to look back on on movies from the past and be like, eh, CGI is a little sketchy. Eh, the CGI. I mean, this not was this one. <laughs> I mean, if you told me this came out yesterday, and look, granted, it's not like it's not like they didn't have technology in 2014, but mm-hmm. there have been some pretty drastic advances. There just always is. And yeah. we've watched, you know, we've watched movies that are another 10 years old. A few few scenes in some of the Potter movies, a few scenes in some of the Lord of the Rings movies. You felt like, okay old cgi this is you know nearly a decade old and none of it i felt uh and none of it felt old there wasn't no. a single time i watched anything through this entire movie and it even crossed your mind like that, that's dated i yeah, mean this it never this, took me out of it the special mm. effects um but you know you brought up a really eh. good point how much they focus on the uh on the eyes yeah so uh the scene you know we got the scene Hulk in the first one with caesar riding on the horse mm-hmm. this one with Koba riding on the horse <laughs> when i saw the way they were shooting that fire i'm like he's gonna go <laughs> through on the oh horse. my god <laughs> he's gonna go through on the horse and that um, is the that is the brink of quinn's nightmares yeah, tonight wielding <laughs> I believe those were M60s. You know, I've mentioned before I'm a I'm a, a firearms person, but mostly for you know recreational target shooting or and things like that. So some some of the stuff I can identify, some not. But I mean, that was definitely heavy military stuff. Uh, the only anxiety I have is what we're getting set up for the next movie. As you guys know, um, we're here for all these movies, and I feel like. You know, they, they really set us up for an all-out battle. Um, I feel like given the uh, the ape's ability to navigate certain terrain, I'm like, okay, here in the San Francisco, just start going north. Yeah. Yep. Get to Northern California, get up to Oregon and Washington, and there's plenty of woods oh, and everything up there. there. Too. The one thing that... Um, <laughs> Jesus. Well, they would say the go by thing, sea, but the there's a Loch Ness gonna, monster. The one thing that they're going to face, obviously, is colder weather and yep. harsher winter. So right now they're in San Francisco. So I go mean, south. It doesn't. Yeah. Then you have the cover of like the the woods. Yeah. Then you're kind of in a desert. Yeah. Woods and things like that. So I think that they did a good job of positioning them somewhere where there would be trees and there would be woods, but there would also be climates that were manageable enough where you could you could live outside in the cold weather. Look, yeah. I have- The one guy alluded to that. They don't need clothes, they don't get cold. They, right, yeah. right. So I think that would be my only issue with, you know, cause I'm like, well, if the military's coming in, they can go north, they have the woods of, again, Oregon and Washington, but you're gonna face um, significantly colder winters. But that's not to say that they don't have the ability now to start fires, build shelter. Um, certainly. Well, they got firearms, so they'll be able to get plenty of uh, caribou and elk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and well, grizzly bears. I mean, well, okay, but funny joke, but very realistically, well, um, without, we didn't you know, we didn't see this in this movie, 
But if the apes know that uh, some sort of war is coming in the next movie, they know how to at least operate firearms. They know that the firearms are hunting. So answer, you might have passed that off as a little bit of a joke, but if if you know, their, look at their look at their hunting style in knowledge. this particular film where they did the group thing. Yep. There was there was obviously some danger involved in chasing them down. We saw a couple of the apes get run over, so you wonder if the apes are going to start adapting usage of more human tools yeah, more technology and more technology to try to um you know i don't really want to say you know to try to move into you know the future but just to help protect their yeah. quality of life and and just protect them period i mean if you, if you know that the humans are coming with weapons I mean, if if you're as heavily armed, look, there's a lot of there's a lot of firepower there. Yeah. I don't know if they know how to load magazines yeah, and yeah. load them and rack them, but I'm or, sure they can learn. Yeah. Or how uh, much of it got destroyed when they took down? Well, partially took down the tower, tower? I guess. But uh, look, yeah. uh, well, and they they know where the armor is. That's a true. A forest yeah. full of apes is very intimidating. A forest full of <laughs> apes, all with uh, ARs <laughs> and M60s and God knows what else, yeah. was still left in that armory. That's a scary thought, but there's I some mean, rocket launchers and yeah, some stuff man. in there. I mean, so, so, where's the instruction? Billy? Where's we gotta the, talk. They were teaching Maurice how to read. Where's the instruction yeah, manual? That's all you need. Yep. So uh, a, a phenomenal movie, uh, a great setup for the next one. Mm -hmm. um, I I just thought this was was incredibly well done, and from from start to finish, and Mason Quinn said a lot of action, great storyline, great emotion. The eyes, yeah, that was, and uh, not not a second that I didn't enjoy this movie. Um, I'm gonna give it a 4.75 answer. Mm, I see, yeah, because there was parts in where I'm looking like, is that is that Andy Circus uh, Circus's eyes or is that the ape's eyes? You know, because you're looking. This is one. You're where such I a would, fan of Schmeagel. You're just I, hoping to find in a little. One where I really feel like I would like to watch. And I'm not going to do it until we're done with all of them. But watch like behind the scenes and the yeah, making of, sure. because I think. Um, I think the amount that went into this movie was brilliant. But He's oh. in a nice, lovely suit, oh. riding through the riding through the fire. Gosh, just oh, oh my god! Just, just bad. Just guns a blazing. <laughs> but yeah, that so was. So there is only three. Is there any? Yes. Is there any talk of sequels or prequels? Uh, as far as like I know, that? no. And we're, I'm not going to look it up till we're looking up at stuff for the War of the Planet of right, the So. So until the next one, that's Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn, I'm of course the answer. Good night, pals.